the uh, Eddie Bracamonte side BB Pro. It's a full-time job that I wouldn't trade anything for. I really love what I do and um, I'll be doing it forever. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Eddie Bracamontes, IFBB Pro. Gonna be uh, hitting some shoulders today. I generally, generally like to start off with a lateral movement just to kind of get my shoulders warmed up, uh, get some blood in there. Uh, so that's what I did today, just uh, about, I think it was like four to five sets, and then uh, a drop sit at the end, working my way down, um, dropping the weight, increasing the reps, just to get a good pump. You know, uh, this far into the prep, you know, calories are low. Cardio is high. I'm doing about a little bit over an hour every day, um, and I'm training seven days a week right now. So I try to lift as heavy as possible because the biggest mistake I see people make is they do lighter weight with too many reps, 15s, 20s, 25s. And that's cool once in a while, but when you're this far into your prep, you want to still keep the density, muscle density, in order to still pop on stage. If you keep training light, what's gonna happen is once it's time to step on stage, you're gonna just be super flat, you know, even though you'll carve up, but you're gonna lose muscle mass by not keeping the same poundage, trying to keep the same poundage. You're not gonna be doing a three, four, five reps. Try to keep it higher, like anywhere from eight, 12, maybe the, maybe the most 15. Um, so it's, it's not as heavy as I, of course, I'm not gonna hurt myself, but heavy enough to where I still can control the weight, isolate the muscle, and um, still get a good workout. But that's one thing you wanna be careful with, is don't go too light. You know, it's, uh, it's the biggest mistake you can make is by trying to you know, stay lighter weights when you're this far into your prep. Second, went over to uh, some reverse re reverse flies. Typically, I like to do them uh, just diff different variations, either standing, seated, or uh, supported on a bench. Today, I did um, seated, um, bent over uh, to target the rear delts. went over to a cable movement. I usually like to do um, a uh, two movements per area, per so focusing on the posterior delts, again, doing some cables, reverse cable flies, uh, to really uh, get a good squeeze, um, get a good isolation of that muscle group. Oh. 
know, it's funny, every prep is always different. So you can never, you, you can, you can never guess. And that's what I kind of like about it is always like the, the suspense of what's next. And Chris will tell you right away himself too that if I ask him, hey Chris, what am I gonna do for my carb up the week before? He'll say, I don't know. You know, we'll see what your body responds to. And that's so true. People think that you can have a general idea of what you're gonna do that week of, but once you get there, it all depends on how you look. Does the other scale may tell you something, there may be some telltale sign of where you're at, but it's all about, you know, visually, you know, looking in the mirror. How do you feel? How do you look? And keeping a close eye on the way the body responds to every meal. You know, everything that you put into your body, it can change, you know, within hours. So, that's the cool thing with, with Chris is he'll let me know right away, like, you know, like, don't worry about that until we get there. And then I don't, you know, I don't worry about it because it's going to be different every single time, depending on the, the climate, depending on, you know, my, uh, my body, how, Say if I'm sleep deprived or, or whatever it may be, cortisol levels are up or whatever. It's you'll never know how your body's gonna respond until you actually get there. So I'm fortunate to have to have Chris, you know, let me know that from the very beginning. So that way it's less stress and I just leave it up to him and that's why he's a technician and he's the, the best prep coach out there because he'll tell you straight up, you know, he doesn't know until we get there. And I kinda like that approach because that's how you know that he's uh, gonna take care of you and I'm in good hands once we get to that point and uh, I trust him 100%. So this uh, next movement I learned from the godfather of bodybuilding himself, Mr. Charles Glass. I've been working with uh, Mr. Glass since last year, since my last uh, prep for nationals. Um, so to target the uh, front delt, it's a reverse shoulder press here with these easy bars. start thinking about all the negative stuff, you know, it's like what sets your mind in the wrong direction. Of course I'm tired, of course I'm hungry, but you can't think about that, you know. Think about improving, thinking about getting better, thinking about how I'm going to look on stage, thinking about being my best. And that's the only thing I focus on. Because the pain is only temporary, you know, you always hear it. Whatever doesn't kill you just makes you stronger. And that's absolutely true. You know, you stress, we stress our bodies, stress our minds to better ourselves, you know, to become a modified version of the old you and always trying to reach for more, you know, and never, never settle, never settle for being average or being mediocre. That's no fun.
Good workout. Okay guys, I just want to thank my sponsors, SciTech Nutrition. Um, thanks 619 Muscle, everyone here at San Diego World Gym um, for giving me, giving me all the support, all the guidance, all the love. Really appreciate it. Um, it means so much to me and I can't wait to see everyone on May 28th at the IFBB California Pro. Uh, brought to you by uh, John Lindsay Muscle Contest. Um, it's going to be a great show and I hope you guys can make it. Peace.